what's up YouTube? We're here with more SCP. I did one video where we started to kind of like a part one to this Vulgan uh, lore kind of explaining the world of SCP video. So now we're going to do a part two of it. So if you haven't seen part one, make sure to check it out here on the channel. And now we deep dive further. This is kind of giving me the introduction of what SCP even is. That way we're able to actually check out SCP stuff and maybe even play SCP games on the channel. Which I will cry, but will be great for entertainment. <laughs> so I hope you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. So feed the algorithm quads, and we're going to get straight into it. Let's get it. Yeah, that's good System enough. of proposals. Proposals. An author's individual idea of number one. They vary wildly and contradict each other. On the number one hub page, it says mm -hmm. that the, quote, real number one is so secret that a number of false ones have been created. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's actually so good. It's like, listen, all these other ones a shit because the real number one's hidden. So anybody who tell you they got number one, they full of dog shit. I right, homie? I'm going to tell you straight up. The SCP I know about, better than your SCP, okay? He crazier. <laughs> this explanation allows there to be multiple self-contradictory number ones. One of them could be the true one to you. Or maybe you want a couple to be canonical at the same time. Maybe all of them are fake. Maybe all of them are true. <laughs> maybe all of them are ones. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> it all depends on your canon and how much you like a given proposal. In oh, effect, cool. SCP-1 proposals are canon builders. Each one sets the tone for a particular author's vision of the foundation itself, most likely get rejected by the community and deleted. Oh. As of November 2017, 19 SCP-1 proposals have been successfully posted. Each one is the product of a lot of work and a high concept. Oh, so people try to write their own fan fiction version of some shit, but it's not actually like obeying by a lot of the things that we've learned from the previous parts of this, such as like the nomenclature and like all the other like effects and like understanding what even type of SPC, like SPC you're trying to have in the first place and it like draws from too many different things without being kind of more of like actually like a proper concept yeah that would make a lot of sense okay so like, that's why like a lot of them get rejected for like okay because I kind of thought that maybe anyone could write it which I mean technically anyone could write it but it getting rejected by the community kind of keeps it so that like the higher better concepts that are more structured would stay in the loop right I think that's pretty cool here are six of the 19. Number one, Dr. Clef's proposal. The foundation was established to prepare humanity for the rapture. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I turned my head to read. Your fanfic has been deemed unworthy by the committee. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> or apocalypse. SCP-1 is the angel guarding Eden. Oh, oh! Number two, Dr. Mann's proposal. The first and only natural anomaly was a spiral path in New York. A group of ambitious scientists experimented with reality using this as the thread and created every single other anomaly in the database. Wait, I really like that first one though. The one with like the angel thing, like guarding Eden. Cause like, if you look at like old ass angel ass mofuckers who like have like all the multiple eyes and the creepy shit going on they look horrifying <laughs> i think it'd be kind of cool no. i also like how there's like just one that's just like a staircase it's just going down you know number three s andrew swan's proposal the scp foundation is aware of its fictionality they are currently discussing ways to kill their authors number four bro that's meta as fuck for an SCP proposal. That's so meta. Oh shit. He said, you can write it dog, but we finna shake your ass. <laughs> Listen, it's not me who gonna do it. It's the SCPs, you feel me? <laughs> That's okay, fair. Rojit's proposal. Keter class and anomalies Keter, are an inherent class, part yeah. of the universe and can be contained using each other. By releasing all Keter class anomalies, the universe can be manually restructured. I thought, what? That just sounds like like the world's going to go to shit, though, if you try that. That doesn't sound like a good idea, right? I mean, unless you full-on crazy like this. 
I'm gonna be real with you, Rajet. <laughs> Rajay, if you will. Motherfucker, you saw wildin' for that. <laughs> Number five, Twisted Gears Cactus Proposal. Okay, I love cactus. SCP-1 is one manifestation of the mechanical god worshipped by a clockwork cult, which wreaked havoc on the world before the military destroyed it. I'ma be real with you, I just think Honkai Star Rail stole whoever wrote this one. I think Honkai Star Rail originally had a plot where Sparog was made by a creator in the town by an NPC. Then they changed his entire story the moment the game got released. They were like, yeah, fuck that original plot with the NPC who made him. Uh, let's make him an old ancient robot god, low-key. <laughs> what the fuck? They 100% were like, how do we make this shit weirder? Quickly, go to the SP SCP fan page. Go, go, go. What did they write? Just copy it. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. <laughs> well, quickly. <laughs> and finally, number six. Yeah. Kaladin's proposal. That's a cool name. Humanity was originally a slave race whose suffering was harvested to create utopia on another planet. We escaped and then tried to cloak ourselves. The cloak failed, and our masters are trying to bring us home. Oh no, colonialism. <laughs> I'm on one today. I had too much caffeine. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, the Matrix. Oh, that is... Kay, you are so on point. For those of you guys who are, like, really into the Matrix and shit, um, I don't mean, like, being Andrew Tate... Andrew Ch Tate, uh, like, top G pilled or whatever the fuck. I mean, like, actually, like, into the Matrix and, like, how it was, like, the aliens, like, used humans, like, sleeping chambers and shit to, like, like you know, <laughs> like... Like, get their, like, life force and all that kind of crap to, like, help, like, run their own society. That's actually really, that's actually really cool. Yeah. I know I poke a lot of jokes and fun at stuff, but I think this one, the garden one, actually, do you know what, the staircase one is just bizarre because it's just a, it's just a staircase in New York. But I feel like there's so much you could do with that because of them talking about the database. I don't know. I kind of like all of these pretty much. The meta one... I feel like could be fun for like if you had other writers writing about their experience with trying with almost being killed by this like number one that actually is trying to kill the SCP writers. That'd be kind of a cool thing to see like them collab on it. Is there any collabs for SCP writers in the community? Because that'd be that'd be cool to look at. It's my personal suggestion that you don't start with SCP one. The proposals are usually quite complex and require some knowledge of Foundation lore. Okay. Which is either played with, expanded on, or subverted. Read conventional SCPs before you take the number one deep dive. In the comments below, uh, for those of you guys watching on YouTube, uh, just because it's a little bit easier for me to organize stuff, uh, could you let me know which SCP you would want me to start with? The one I'm most interested in is the IKEA one, because everyone was talking about it in the last video comment section. So that one I'm super interested in, but if there's one that in particular that you think would be like super ideal for me to check out, 100% put it in the comments below and I'm down. Special oh, I thought it was saying 999. Dash EX, dash J, and dash ARC. There are other types of documents that use the basic SCP format and style, but utilized in a different way. This allows different stories with more diverse tones and themes to okay. be told. The SCP-EX classification designates an SCP that is no longer considered anomalous. It is explained. The object or phenomenon in question still exists, but the Foundation has deemed it to be an acceptable part of consensus reality. Or it was a giant fake-out. Or it turned out to be just a new scientific discovery. Oh, An SCP-J... Okay is a joke SCP, a parody SCP, in a sense. Joke SCPs are explicitly non-canon, oh, using okay. the SCP format to joke around or make fun of something for the benefit of the reader. They oh. may riff on in-universe tropes, like overwrought security, over-the-top containment, cold posting, or bad original characters. I really like the way that guy said containment. He said containment. He put the so much emphasis on the T. I liked it. <laughs> or they may parody things like food poisoning, bad drivers, easily angered people, or that one movie. They may even make fun of the elements in what the movie? other popular what movie? SCP canons. <laughs> what movie? Ultimately, 
Huh? A joke SCP is just a way to make the reader laugh. Cool. If a joke SCP is not well written and very funny, it'll be downvoted. And finally, we have SCP ARC. Archived mm -hmm. SCPs. These are usually legacy pages from the very old days of the site, when standards oh. were low and the mass edit had not been conducted yet. While most of these SCPs were deleted, some of them needed to have text archives due to their usage in other tales or still existing SCPs. Oh, that's so cool. So like the super old, unpolished ass ones, they just keep archived. And they deleted some of them, but some of them they're still relevant because they get referred to in the modern versions. And this is before everyone else could help edit the projects together. Now that's cool to know. All right. So it kind of explains a way if you have older ones that are kind of dog shit, and now you're coming into a new era where people, where people are actually a lot better collaborating and creating these really like intriguing stories together. Yeah, that's cool. All right, I can respect that. Well, because they were historically important, AR seeing is no longer in use since the opening of series two, three, and four. And you will most likely never need to read one of these. Cool. Good for me then. <laughs> Tales, canons, and collaborative logs. Tales are how the Foundation universe gets deepened and extended beyond the limits of the simple SCP file. Okay. It allows authors to tell stories where groups or people can interact with each other, Tales of Mr. Collector, and Pitch Haven. You can find Tales in the top rated Tales, Tales okay. Archive, as submissions to a themed contest or by trawling around and finding recommendations. You can yeah, also, recommendations. We'll That's you guys in the, in the, the comments. Tales Let's go. A canon. a canon is your own set of assumptions about the tone, setting, and dynamic of the universe. Each of the canon. Oh, that's going to be so fucking cool the more we deep dive into this. Oh, that's going to be so cool. Because the more we get into it, the more we can discuss what we think is canon. And then technically, we could have different differing views on what we th believe is canon based on our own assumptions and based on what we draw from each tale. That is so cool. Dude, what? Because instead of just like feeding you linear information and this is what's real, this is what's not, besides like the exception of like the joke CPs, right? I mean, the joke SCPs. It's like, this is, I don't know, I, li I like that. I like that. It's cool. The canon hub is a wildly different set of assumptions based off the baseline SCP foundation. Think of them as mega tail hubs or parallel universes <laughs> or self-contained shit mega tail hubs that's when i hit up the bars and i see all them shoddies there you know what i'm saying there's a lot of tail ah, dap me up <laughs> i have a fiance don't worry <laughs> in cinematic universes for authors to play in here are five notable canons okay broken masquerade okay. a world where the foundation's existence is known by everyone resurrection what a deliberate wait that's that whoa. a world where the foundation's existence is known by everyone oh so the secrecy is gone and shit just wild and we aware having a where society oh that'd be sick Known by everyone resurrection yeah a deliberate attempt to resurrect the action orientated scp doctor crazy days of series one in which an mtf composed of anomalous humans is formed okay third law a pulpy sci-fi kind of curious more about like anomaly human stuff i'm I, that sounds like it's gonna be really creepy but i'm kind of down to learn about that too Fi paratech world dominated by the machinations of prometheus labs and anderson robotics Rats mr Lips. anderson the military killed god and the foundation is covering it up reality is slowly unraveling and falling apart. We have to do the rat's nest. <laughs> this is this is a sign. This is a sign. Okay, for those of you guys on the YouTube channel, you might not understand this, but my chat calls me live on Twitch, which come join us. We are live on Twitch pretty much every single day. Um, they call me the Rat Queen, and that this is the Rat Queendom. And I'm even born in the year of the rat. So I'm just like, we just ratted out of our minds. And yeah, you're like, oh, but aren't you supposed to be like a magical elf girl? What the fuck? Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Okay. Don't worry about it. They chose this. I didn't choose the, this life. They chose me. You know what I'm saying? It's just. <sighs> yeah, this is. <laughs> God is dead and the rats have taken over, dog. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> 
And they're trying to cover up that they, they killed God. Oh my God, it'd be so cool to read different ways that they think they killed God. Oh my God, that'd be, such, that'd be so sick. Small-scale, poignant series set in the southern United States, usually having a restful, mysterious feel and featuring religious symbolism and unconventional types of media. Okay. A number of pages on the site are tagged as collaborative. Okay. Collaborative logs or pages can be edited and added to by anyone. Although oh, they talked about that earlier when they talked about the archives and how exists. some people... Oh, she this is a good... Um, yeah, they talked about that earlier when it came to the opposite, when it came to archives, how people can't really edit those, but they deleted some. Now, this is the opposite in the new age where they can do collaborative logs where they can edit each other's shit. It's cool. Way yeah. to get your creative chops and contribute whilst not taking the plunge of writing an SCP. Uh -huh. The three main collaborative pages exist as lists of mini SCPs, very small scale items or phenomena that don't need to have a narrative, but still oh. need to be unique, appropriate, and interesting. They are Log of Anomalous Items. The SCP Foundation has discovered a substantial number of items which are simply too useless to merit further attention. I'm sorry, I got so distracted. Someone said, hey, that is my sister. For being a small item? <laughs> the fuck you mean by that? <laughs> what do you even mean by that? <laughs> huh? I don't know, man. I just turned my head to chat. I turn my head to chat and read the most random shit sometimes. That's... <laughs> I don't know, because we just... We just <laughs> okay. You know what? This we good. <laughs> lists those items which have prompted some curiosity. Log of extra normal events. This page is to document anomalous events that have attracted the Foundation's interests, but occurred too briefly for the Foundation to secure or contain them. Oh. And finally, log of unexplained locations. This page is to be devoted to the documentation of low-threat anomalous locations which have been discovered by the SCP Foundation over the years. Oh, okay, cool. There are a number of other collaborative pages, usually SCP supplements or logs. Keep in mind that guidelines for contributions still apply, though. And if your addition is deemed to be below standard, it'll probably be removed. Groups of I honestly love the fact that they, that they quality control what goes on the site. That's super dope. Just saying. Interest. The Foundation isn't the only fish in the anomalous sea. Other organizations, collective, and groups exist mm -hmm. that utilize or create paranormal phenomena for their own purposes. Some are associates of the Foundation, others are rivals to it. Many of them quietly pursue their own interests, while a great many of them fall on the lines of good and or evil. The vast majority simply have a goal in mind that's somewhere in between. Here are seven notable groups of interest. Okay. Are We Cool Yet? A collection of an artists, usually producing surreal and disturbing works of art. Their pieces are designed to have maximum impact and are usually lethal in some way. What? The chaos and No, 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 go back. Are We Cool Yet? A collection of an, an artists? Usually producing uh, surreal and disturbing works of art. Oh. And maximum impact usually are, are lethal in some way. Dude. Anonymous artist. Cool. Chat, though. Chat. Is there, like, any cool-ass, like... Do they, like, do people, like... Is there, like, SCP artists that, like, make really cool shit for this kind of narrative? Cause I'd be so down to read one that's like, and like that has like a beautiful piece of art that's super fucking creepy, and then we like read through the story for it. That'd be cool to do. Yes, a lot. Oh fuck yeah, we're so doing that. Some impact and are usually lethal. In oh, some that's like, way. dude, that just gives me that just gives me like old creepy pasta vibes, right? Anybody? Holy shit, that's dope. Oh, insurgency, a rogue cell of the foundation that uses terrorist means to steal and repurpose powerful anomalies to gain control over nations and conduct unethical experiments using them. Oh. The Church of the Broken God. Okay. Whoever wrote this name? <laughs> How'd you know? 
As you know, I'm your god and I'm broken. I, I be crying this shit too, dog. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, that name goes super hard, though, right? That's a tough-ass name. <laughs> Red cult believing in a clockwork god who has broken into pieces all over the world. Oh my god, he the Dragon Balls! That's the Dragon Ball god! <laughs> Dr. Wondertainment, an individual or company that makes anomalous artifacts that are supposed to be children's toys. Okay, no, the that's the thing of nightmares. That's nightmare fuel. Nah. What the, the children's toy thing? Nah, bro. I'm a cry. That shit. That shit sounds scary as a bitch. <laughs> oh no! You guys being excited for it makes me even more horrified. That sounds so scary. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. Okay. Serpent's hand. <laughs> a small organization headquartered in an interdimensional library, believing in anomalous rites and the normalization of the paranormal and magical. Marshall, Carter, mm. and Dark. A corporation that buys and sells anomalous items for the benefit of the super rich. Oh, that, I want that corrupt shit. I want that corrupt shit. Yeah. Yeah, I want these rich ass motherfuckers to be buying some messed up anomalies and then just start messing things up. Oh my God, I would, who like start torturing people in ish? Something dumb like that. I want I want that craziness. You know what I'm saying? By the way, when I use the term dumb, it's like kind of like I, I use dumb and stupid and stuff like that sometimes in weird ways. Uh, sometimes dumb means cool <laughs> when I say it. I talk with a lot of slang. <laughs> so I know some people take me very literally when I say, oh, I want something dumb. And they're like, oh, that's not dumb. And I'm like, oh, bro, I can't even. Ex I just it's I talk weird. <laughs> I talk weird. I'm sorry. Okay. I can't. You can't change me. You can't change me. <laughs> Global Occult Coalition, or the GOC, a massive military organization under control of the UN, using technology and force to destroy the extra normal wherever they find it. Okay, Many damn. Many also have their own form of documentation, similar to an SCP. On the wiki, they are called GOI formats. And they are stories told from a different perspective than the Foundation. For more information, visit the Groups of Interest page, as well as the ongoing Groups of Interest overview and guide on the SCP Declassified subreddit. That's crazy that my call, that my my chat just goes. GOC are dumbasses. Next person goes GOC Giga Chads. Next person goes GOC are idiots. Okay, all right. This. Is <laughs> All right, I would not like to shit on y'all who are part of that whatever the hell. I don't know what's happening. What? <laughs> we got definitely SCP war? What? Okay. People are talking about a chair. Okay, y'all got that. You know what? Moving on. <laughs> Beyond the main site. You can find stories and SCPs to read even beyond the classifications and places I've already detailed. In this final section, I present other outlets of writing- Where are the final parts? Holy smokes that flew by. I know that like, I didn't, that still felt pretty damn fast. Oh man, I was really into this. I didn't, I thought this, okay, yeah. Associated wow. or tied to the SCP wiki that you can also look into. Firstly, a great place for you to discover lesser known but very well written tales and SCPs are in the contest archive. For example. Oh, very quickly to address the person in chat. Uh, I hope you're not using gay as a term in order to insult something. Because if so, you're a cringe ass bitch. Don't do that. Just gonna call it out real quick. I don't accept that kind of shit. If there's a gay SCP, lit. But just don't be doing it as like a, you know, I. Right. You're not? Cool. Just making sure. Y'all know me. I don't stare for that shit. Just making sure. SCP 1000, 2000, and 3000 contests all have SCPs themed around urban legends, sci fi, and horror, respectively. You have the short works contest and the D-Class contest mentioned earlier, and the history contest for both Tales and SCPs. Then Wait, I'm sorry, they got contests? Is that what you said? Hold on. 
I zoned out a little bit. Hold on. Work contest, D class contest mentioned. During what? And the history contest. Oh, contest archive. My bad. For both my bad, tales my bad. and SCPs. Then there are the gigantic multi part mobile task force contest and groups of interest contest. And then the. Dis Is there prizing? <laughs> Is there prizing? Dystopia and reimagining contests, and so forth. There's so much to find. The Wanderer's Library is set in the mysterious, ancient, magical library of the Serpent's Hand. Oh, that sounds it cool. It includes prose pieces and poetry set in the SCP universe, but focused on evoking a sense of wonder, of the extraordinary and fantastical. Quote, oh. a sense that there is a larger world beyond the one we know. In the world of the library, these wonders are hidden, but never truly far away. But never forget that this is a wilder world than our own, oh. and it's never entirely safe either. Okay, that sounds super cool. I want to look at that one. <laughs> and finally, we have the international foreign SCP branches. There's French SCPs, Russian SCPs, Japanese SCPs, and a whole bunch more. Each brand has their own set of SCPs, many okay. of which have extremely creative and diverse ideas. If you're looking for more SCPs to read, this might be a place to find cool concepts. Do you guys you have favorites far... for international slash foreign SCPs? Is there ones that are your favorite? Like if you were to name one, that's like your favorite? On language, the main SCP INT wiki hub has translations of some of them. This was entirely written by Reddit user Modulum83 over on the SCP Declassified subreddit. All links will be in the description. If you enjoyed it, give Modulum83 some praise in the comments section for writing something I couldn't write myself. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it answered most of your questions about who we are and what we do, and that it convinced you to take a dive and become part of the universe and the community. You definitely did. This is an incredible YouTube channel. Link to the original video will be in the description below, by the way. Uh, I'm just gonna play out the rest of the video to see if there's anything else they're gonna say here. Yeah, it just seems like it's going to be cool. Anyways, I just want to say thank you so much. Um, yeah, of course, support the original video, right? When it comes to me watching or reacting to anything here on the channel, I always link the original video in the description because I think it's really important to support original creators. What I do here is also fun, so come support me. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm guads. Uh, you know, you can always help out both. Uh, you know, hitting like on a video, leaving a comment on a video is absolutely free. It does help support both channels when you do so on each channel. So thank you so much for watching. And if you're excited to see more SCP deep dive stuff, usually how my channel works is the more likes a video gets, the more views a video gets, the more likely I'm about to do it again. <laughs> All right. YouTube's my full-time job. Okay, shoddy. So... <laughs> Uh, yeah, the more you interact with these videos, the more likely I'm going to do them more often. So I'm happy to do more deep dives into the sweet, sweet world of the SCP nonsense that I am a little bit horrified for because I really... Oh, some of it's creepy. And the worst part is I'm a little bit gullible. So even if someone writes something, a part of me is going to be like, but could it be real? <laughs> I'm going to get way too invested. I, I'm going to get way too invested. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you guys later, YouTube. Thanks for your love and support always. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the next video. Bye.